You know what's great? Video games. You know what else is great? Wrestling. You know what's fantastic? Wrestling video games. Maybe we'll talk about that over on the Wrestling Mayhem Show. The Wrestling Mayhem Show, that's right, it's another show. Brought to you by the fine folks at Sorgatron Media. Go and check it out at WrestlingMayhemShow.com. You'll love it. I probably promise. Hi everyone, welcome to another exciting edition of Let's Play. Um, we're here joined this week by Riz. How's it going, Riz? Hi, everybody. <laughs> All right, we're, and we're joined I, by Sorg once again. I play video games. I don't know, that's super creepy if it's just on the audio, I bet. <laughs> <laughs> I don't care. You sound like the, uh, the pervert from Family Guy. <laughs> hey, everybody. And? and also joining us is Chachi. How's it going, Chachi? I should have been gone. Chachi is stockpiled <laughs> for the apocalypse with his uh, is. Mountain Dew. Like oh. you would. <laughs> oh, wow. Awesome. All right, it's uh, time to find out what we. <laughs> it's time to find out what we've been up to this week. Um, <laughs> not doing impressions of Family Guy, perverts. But uh, what have we been? What have we been playing this week? Who wants to start? I'll start. Uh, I uh, played Castle Crashes because Chachi played Castle Crashes at my house. Sure did. <laughs> yes, he did. Uh, also, I had to jump in and play some uh, Angry Birds Star Wars because Lando Bird has arrived. What? Lando Bird. Wow. Mm, and that smattering of a little bit of Black Ops when I have some downtime. And uh, yeah, that's all it that I can I can think of right now, though. I haven't been playing much. No, like this past off month, time? I haven't been playing much. Okay, I have been playing Battle Block Theater again. It is very addicting, and the people who make, who create new levels on the custom creations are pretty good at times. Mm -hmm. But there are times where they're pretty bad. And <laughs> you, I you could say it was the I, best of times. It was the worst of times. Mm -hmm. Okay, and I realized that. There are times when I'm playing Battle Block Theater that I wish death upon the creators of that <laughs> stage because I can't beat it. Oh, no. I can't even beat one part of it. And it keeps getting bigger and bigger and bigger until I screw up. <sighs> okay. Also, I've been playing Injustice. <laughs> Still a great Still. game. Still. Hey, Chachi, what'd you play? Uh, this week I played Castle Crashers, Call of Duty, Lego Batman 2, Diner Dash, Candy Crush, uh, and I picked up the Humble Bundle and played Oregon Trail. The director's Oregon cut. Trail? Oregon, Oregon Trail. Oregon. We'll talk about Oregon. that here in a little bit. Yes. And Bobby? Alright, and I, you guys will be happy to know, I only played 35 seconds of Avengers Alliance today. That's about how much I played today. on the iOS app. 35 today. seconds. Mm -hmm. It's a new today. record of low play time. Nice. I, and I remember the games I played last week that I missed out on. I said it, I played Dragon's Dogma Dark Arisen. Um, I played Sleeping Dogs this week. Um, I bought The Last of Us, hadn't had a, haven't had a chance to play it yet, because I haven't had any time. And I Avengers Alliance for 35 seconds today. Well, if you wouldn't have wasted it. that 35 seconds on Avengers Alliance there, Bobby. Yeah, I did. I could have mm -hmm. played 35 seconds of The Last of Us. Oh, and I played <laughs> the challenge this week, Chachi. Oh, yes, I was, too played the challenge. I forgot about was, that. You Okay. I, am I the only one to play the challenge this week? No, I played the challenge. Oh, you did? Okay. Okay, yeah. did did you fall asleep during it? No, I love that game. I almost fell asleep during today's challenge. Which oh, did. Hey, which version did you guys play? Because, I mean, it's for, like, everything that was out. I played the SNES version. Okay. Yeah, I played uh, NES version. NES, okay. 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 I couldn't find it for I'm the NES version. sorry for both of you. We did, like, I remember having a copy for the PC, but we never got it working. <laughs> but I went to China, and they told me that the Great Wall was missing, and then I was like lost and then i the forbidden city skate was missing and i was like i just want to find mario i don't care about this other stuff 
get 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 the guys there, who found Carmen San Diego. And there were turtles running Those around. I stomped on them, and sometimes they gave me things, but I didn't know what to do with them, and it was just I was confused. Listen, it's not Bobby my my fault that you suck at the I game, all right? Gotcha. At the game, man. Hurt I, fig feelings. I figured out how to run and talk to people, though, so that was a step in the right direction. <laughs> from <laughs> the chat you, room, <laughs> from the chat room, Mutang has uh, a face we haven't seen in there for a while. He's been trying to play SimCity. Trying. <laughs> Uh, Brother Sorg, and this is corroborated by the tweets I've been seeing, has been uh, playing through GTA 4. And, nice, getting uh, ready for GTA 5. There you go. So, what's up, Bobby? Alright, um, this week, our thing you should be aware of, uh, that I had, is um, Torchlight is actually free right now till June 20th on GOG.com, which is GrandOldGames.com, I think. I think it's Good Old Games. They're good, good old, old games, games, that's right. Yeah. Um, I was I was getting too uh, old-timey with it. It's, it's GOG. <laughs> yeah, it's GOG.com. Um, it's free, so um, take advantage of that while you can. Because uh, Torchlight, if you don't know what Torchlight is, it's kind of like a Diablo-like game where it's overhead and you collect loot, stuff like that, RPG. Um, it's, it's fun. I like it. I had it on Xbox, I think, for a while, so... Mm -hmm. I took advantage and grabbed it for free. Yeah, it's a fun little game. I, I, I yeah. played it a bit on the uh, on Steam actually. Um, I, Good Old Games is a great lo looking yeah. site. I mean, I, I haven't gotten too much out of it, uh, but like everything that I played back in the day is there. And, and yeah, everything. Go, oh, go ahead. They're actually having a sale right now. Yeah, yeah, a pretty big sale. Like they have a lot of them. Like, it seems like there's one. I, I'm on the newsletter, and it seems like they have a sale every weekend. Um, so and it's uh, and, and I think everything's think everything's been kind of you know retrofitted, so it'll work on a, on a modern computer, and sometimes mm -hmm. on different platforms, so uh, like Macs and stuff. Uh, so I, I, it's really cool that somebody's doing something like this. Mm -hmm. uh, Torchlight, not so much of an old game, more of an indie game, and they do have a, a, yeah. a smattering of that in here as well. So. Yeah, it's a newer, a newer uh, game, but yeah, still a, a great game. Mm -hmm. Excellent. All right. Um, anybody else have anything? Yes, uh, oh, Humble yeah, Bundle Six uh, for Android is available, and you should pick it up. And it's not just um, for Android, though, right? Right. Uh, PC, Linux, and Mac as well. Mm -hmm. um, but uh, it, it, if only for Oregon Trail, is it worth it? I mean, the other games may be good. I haven't played them yet. Um, but Oregon Trail is a, uh, a as you guessed, a, a an Oregon Trail type game um, in which you have to travel cross country in a station wagon uh, avoiding zombies. <laughs> oh. Um, dysentery is still a thing. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, so are zombies. You have died yes. of zombie dysentery. And the graphics are tremendous. Yes, it is 100% just like um, uh, Oregon, Oregon Trail. So uh, it's definitely worth it. It's up to probably, what, 476 now, you said? Yeah, something like that. Uh, that's, for uh, the, that's for the average. Um, so, I mean. But, uh, uh, you give ahead. what you want to get at least uh, Oregon Trail. But you get bonus games if you uh, meet or beat the average. Mm -hmm. So, definitely worth it. And it goes to charity. Good. And we all love charity. Oh, that's nice. Inclu yep. Including Child's Play, our favorite. We do like charity. Yes. So, yeah, go over to hey, HumbleBundle.com and pick it up. What's up, Riz? I want everybody to hear this. Except for Bobby. Bobby, cover your ears. Earmuffs. Earmuffs. Wait, earmuffs no, doesn't work when you wear headphones. Earmuffs. Well, then don't listen to this one. <laughs> Marvel Avengers Alliance is coming to iOS and Android. Actually, it's, it's, it's already on. It's here already. It's already. It's, it's here. I downloaded it. Bobby. It's not too late to avenge your friends. No, it isn't. No, it isn't. No, it's not. Bobby. Stay away. I played 35 seconds today. Leave me alone. 
It's getting better. It's Stay getting better. Away, but, but as they say, you're never, you're never, you're, you're never, you're never not an addict. Yeah. So, be careful, Bobby. We're, 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 careful, we're pulling Bobby. for you. We're, we're here. We're here for you, Bobby. Mm-hmm. Wait, it's on Android now. Apparently. Mm. I think it's coming to Android too, but it, they haven't released it for Android yet. I was going to say, because I looked on Android and couldn't find it. Yeah, I, I don't think it's on Android yet. It's okay, Just like Bobby. Vine isn't available for, for certain people, but that's a, for a different show. It's okay, Bobby. <laughs> Alright, so do you have anything Vine's this okay. No, I No, 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 I have nothing. Okay. Alright, um, now we're, we're going to move on to our news segment. Um, not a news segment, our news segment. <laughs> um... The PS4 and Xbox One announced both announced their game prices. Um, in non-news, they're all going to be sixty dollars still. No, <laughs> so, no. So really? Well, at least they didn't go up, right? Yeah, yeah. At least they didn't go up. But um, both companies left a little wiggle room, where they said okay. they said four four games were going to be available at launch at $60, their own personal games. So they left it open for, like, third-party games to have different prices. Mm -hmm. So we're still not sure if other companies are going to follow suit or not, or if it's going to be, like, a tiered pricing. Like, say you have a game that's not as big for, like, $39.99. Like, they... Kind of like they have now. And you saw that before. I mean, this is nothing new. It it, it really thinks... like, Like, I think more and more we're getting to this point where we're not venturing in the new territory we're continuing the path we were on we just have a new box to buy yeah. you know what i mean uh and i think as far as the game prices yeah because i mean it really did, did the prices change between playstation and playstation 2 for new first run games no no and it had uh mm-hmm. the probably the uh probably the 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 whatever was before that right I, except for i remember i remember as a kid buying uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles: The Manhattan Project when it first came out for Nintendo mm-hmm. for forty nine dollars. Exactly, exactly. So it was fifty dollars. I mean, it doesn't for, change much. It was fifty dollars for the longest time in the last generation. Yeah, they decided to up to sixty. But look at all the stuff they're doing. Look at production value. Look at all that kind of stuff. And yeah. you do have the cheaper games. You had uh, certain games come out at thirty dollars. Plus, we have all of our digital stuff for indies and, and lower lower end games too. Looking so, back, it kind of felt like a moron for paying like six, $50 for an 8-bit game. <laughs> it's like, <laughs> but what hey, hey, Manhattan Project was 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 awesome. <laughs> it was okay? good. It was awesome. It was what we wanted out of Nintendo yeah. or, or Turtles, the arcade game. Let's it's be honest time. here, okay? I mean, we know we're not going to get as good as that arcade cabinet, but damn it, they put a lot in the Manhattan Project. <laughs> They had a character named Groundchuck who didn't exist in the Turtles universe. Well, I don't know. You saw some of those uh, figures towards the end there. Uh, yeah. It was at Comic Con, uh, getting getting at a signing for uh, uh, Kevin Eastman, and somebody brought like the flyer with a bunch of the like later ones, and they're like, <laughs> "Oh man, I can't believe we designed this crap." You know, kind of, you know. Yeah. They were just like, let's just make characters so we can actually sell toys and meet our contract, right? On a, on a side note, I saw an Ace Duck figure at. The flea market for five dollars this week. <laughs> I was thinking about buying it. Yeah, duck. Did they include the wings? That's the. No, it didn't have the wings. It just—it uh... was actually kind of beat up though. <laughs> because everybody like, made Ace Duck fly. Yep. All right. Our next story is uh, one that's near and dear to our hearts. Uh, Black Ops Two announced this week. There's new maps coming. Woo! A uh, new map 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 pack called Vengeance. Um, there will be four. Um, regular maps, um, three of which are new. Uh, Cove, Detour, and Rush are the new maps. Um, one edited map, like they did in the last one, um, called Uplink, that was actually Summit from Black Ops 1. Okay. And a new zombie map um, called Buried. Not buried, buried. Because um, it features a zombie in a cowboy hat, and everybody thinks it's going to be like uh, Western. Ooh, type of Cove zombies. looks fun. So, yeah. Uh, what do you guys think? Is it, are you are you excited for more maps, or are you over Black Ops? You know, I you know, again, it's kind of the thing I pick up and play. You know, uh, mm-hmm. and and I love that I did buy the season pass this this time around because it's it's like I still have a fresh round of maps. You know, yeah. Um, so no, I, it, it's it's been keeping it fresh. I think I'm getting my money's worth out of it, and and, and I love this idea that the game stays new. You mm-hmm. know, and you just like you, yeah, you paid. Hundred and 
ten dollars for a game in the long run, but you got a lot of content out of that. You know, yes. I mean, how many hours? No, Avengers Alliance kind of hours, <laughs> uh, but how many <laughs> hours have have each of us? Don't answer this, but have each of us put into it, especially Chachi? Hey, yeah, hey Chachi. speak for yourself. I put Avengers Avengers Alliance hours into it. <laughs> he unlocked the, the diamond camo. He, he is I'm our up, commander. I, I, I'm up to like uh, 265 hours playing Holy that crap. game. Wow, that's <laughs> Commander Chachi. I guess it's more than clicking, though, right? Right. Exactly. So. I'm gonna see. What about you guys? I uh, unfortunately I haven't oh. played much yet. Okay. In a while. Yeah, I, I should get either. started back up, but I haven't. Mm-hmm. Uh, but like you said, it's one of those games that you just plug in and play whenever you know you have some time. You and, kill some time. And there's always something new. Like I finished off the campaign mode uh, about a week ago, uh, and now I'm like, maybe I'll check out the zombies. You know, because I have not touched the zombies. Um, caught the intro and started t- tinkering a little bit with it on the, uh, the the Alcatraz one. Just the intro alone is amazing with the people they have in there. Uh, Ray Liotta. Ray Liotta, I mean, all those guys. Isn't, like, Michael Madsen one guy in there? No, no, he's actually in the main part. Uh, Last game at Danny Trejo, I think. Really? Yeah. I have I think to look at that. Danny Trejo, Sarah Michelle Gellar, and a couple other people. It's amazing. That's awesome. That's awesome. Always oh, something new, and it's high quality, you know? I, yeah. I'm, st- I'm continually astonished at the high quality of this game. So, in general, you know, I just have to get used to the zombies thing, and I'll have how many hours more fun to have with this thing, you know, mm-hmm. to hold me over until ghosts. Yeah, I, I didn't get the the um the uh, season pass for it, mm-hmm. um, so I don't know if I'm going to get this map pack or not. Mm-hmm. I'm kind of on the fence, so we'll see. Or you just get them all and get ca- caught up. Hey, yeah. I have can uh, can I put a side question out there? We could do real quick. Um, okay. Are you concerned? Are are you guys looking forward to getting ghosts for the current gen? I think I'm going to stick with 360 for a while, just because yeah. I'm not sure. Well, I'm system. presuming I'm presuming none of us have the money to plunk 500, 400 dollars no. down for a new console. This, no. this, this, this and I don't this even Christmas. know which one I'm going to buy it. Exactly. I, I mean, that's still that's still out out. Uh, you know, it's still a big question mark. Let's presume that none of us are. So, are we all going to get ghosts, and are we going to ha- be happy about that? Yeah. Getting I'll the lower, the lo- yeah. basically the lower end version of it. Yeah. That's right. Fine. I mean, it is a, it that's is for okay. everything, right? So, aren't, aren't we just going to go up against people who I'm have the low end version of Ghost, anyways? That's true. That's or are true. We just, are we just going to go up against guys who have Xbox One high def? With no, the, it's, it's uh, all Delta whatever Six console gun. you have. Who you yeah, play. yeah, it'll, it'll be one to one. But I just wonder what less you're going to get because we're getting the lower end console version. Because I mean, you know, I, I'm kind of comp- oh. I'm kind of envisioning a situation where you have the Xbox One, uh, PlayStation Four, Ghost version and then remember how like yeah but there was a version of black ops for the wii really you know and and how hindered that it was in comparison are we going to get that same feeling when we're working for our last gen systems i think you'll get some minor maps like Mm -hmm. like maybe one or two maps Mm -hmm. maybe a zombies for ghosts i don't know Uh, but you won't get a totally different game based off of which system you have. Mm-hmm. Well, I don't, I don't think um, Infinity War does zombies anyways. No, but I mean, just like, but still, like, the idea is there. So. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Alright. Um, also, I checked my Raptor. I don't feel as bad now, Chachi, thanks. Um, I only clocked 204 hours on Avengers Alliance. <laughs> <laughs> am, I at two, am I at 265? Oh, jeez. I, I believe know. that's the number. Um, but I, I'm not 100% because I stopped tracking once I uh, became your master. <laughs> Commander. <laughs> awesome. One more right. story? Uh, I know, I know my story? line. Oh, what's that? I know my line. Yes. Commander. Commander. Right, could I move on to the next story? Yes. Okay. Our next story is um, kind of a controversial one. Um, I know you guys are excited about the Xbox One. Um, the one of the the head guy from Microsoft, I can't remember who it was that said this. I need to check the story. No, I, I continue. I'll get the name. Um, he he said that um, if you don't have good internet, you can just stick with the 360. Don Matrick. 
Yeah, Thon Magic. Um, he said that you can just basically stick with the 360 instead of upgrading to the Xbox One. It's a little controversial of a, a thing because if, if you want a new console and you don't have access to the internet, like a lot of people don't that like to play games and stuff like that. You know, I, my, my friend, he, he doesn't have good internet, but he, he likes to play games and stuff, so he has an Xbox 360. But he wants an Xbox One, but he can't get it now because mm-hmm. he doesn't have good internet. So Listen, uh, this is, this is um, Xbox has a message. They're making a bet on this. Um, they're kind of being dicks about it now, straight yeah. up. Mm-hmm. Like, they are doing a really horrible job yeah. with PR, okay? But uh, they, they can, though, I mean, they're, they're I mean, in the lead right now. Uh, it, it, well, yeah, but remember PlayStation 3 was in yeah. the lead? Yeah, exactly. We can do whatever the hell you want. Mm-hmm. You guys are going to buy it anyways. You bought our yep. last two systems. We dominate. Who the hell is Microsoft, right? Yeah. Look what happened. They walked out cocky with PlayStation 3. That's why I am legitimately worried about P- Xbox One. Mm-hmm. Uh, I understand the play they're trying to make here. I kind of see the the, the future they're envisioning, but you got to play nice with the people here and have the ideas as they are now, especially when you're a competitor who really isn't that far down the line. When we're playing the reset button with new boxes, mm-hmm. uh it, 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 you gotta you gotta play a, a a different kind of ball game here than you are. What, whatever happened to the customer is always right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and even but, like PlayStation. Um, the problem is they're making the the conversation in the wrong direction. They're telling us we're going to do this thing, but they're not entirely telling me why I'm going to benefit from you doing this. They're just like, here's the policy, and that's how you're going to live with it. We're like. And why does that make my experience better? You know, the reason everybody's making a big deal because we think it's to make their side of the story better. You yeah. know, to make sure we're not, you know, everything's DRM'd and whatever you want to think about it. Whereas PlayStation, who, by the way, has a very similar policy on their used games, apparently, that, that third party can do whatever they want, which yeah. Microsoft has said, well, we're not going to enforce this unless the third party wants to. You know, I mean, everybody's saying they're both saying the same thing from different directions. Yes, there is. I know there is some of the online stuff is quite different, but Sony said it from a different position and look like the good guy. And that's why they want E3. But we got several months to figure this out. Yeah, it's way too uh, early. It's not a controversy. (laughs) No, I'm 100 percent serious. This is not a controversy. If they were doing away with the 360, all right, I'll give you controversy. Mm -hmm. You have five years plus. Five plus years left with the 360. Yeah. Not a controversy. Yeah. Yeah, and it's one of those things. It may have sounded like he was being a dick, but ultimately he wasn't. It could have been said better. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's it, what there's, I was that's what I, there's a lot of things that could have been said better. <laughs> Everything's being said like, why the hell don't you see things our way? Like some, like that's, I heard somebody say, like, I, oh, go ahead, Chris. Like uh, the, the way I see it is, he's not wrong, but you don't just go out saying, "Hey, stick with this one." We'll, we'll, everybody with good internet connection is going to go. Mm-hmm. Over on this side and pay six hundred, five hundred bucks for this. So you guys can stick with this con- this one if you don't have it. So, eh, you'll still buy it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's a little but, bit of a swagger there that I think is just there, pissing it's, people it's not, off. It's not him being a dick. It's him being a having swag, swagger. It's having him having the giant testicles. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I, I think he's just so frustrated, like that. and he has the Microsoft brand behind him, which allows him to say that. True. Sure. If you had the entire internet sitting there telling you to go home because you're yeah. drunk, just because they don't <laughs> understand how the business works, you would be a little pissed off too. Mm-hmm. Go home, Xbox. You're drunk. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. I, I think he's just, just so just frustrated. Just because the majority of the internet is dumb, <laughs> it doesn't mean a, a, a guy is not allowed to show his frustration. I'm sorry. Well, yeah, exactly. I think he's, I think he's just frustrated. Or not, from, 
the same as the everybody else on Let's Play. I think he's frustrated from answering that question over and over and over again, and I think yeah. he just snapped and said, "Stick with the 360." You know, so we we do not believe everyone on the internet is dumb. Please don't hurt us. Especially not viewers and listeners of Let's Play. Answer coin to begin dot com. Hey, you know what? Disagree with me. You can find me on Twitter. I'm sorry. Bring it. If you did, if, if, if you don't I like our podcast, you with can the Republican candidate test. for mayor today. You think I'm afraid of some jackass behind a keyboard? Seriously. <laughs> Which is actually uh, the same uh, thing as that Republican candidate for mayor. It, it is. Yeah. All right. All right. That's enough of that. Bobby, please take us to a boss battle. All right. Our boss battle this week. Um, with the recent uh, announcement that a couple of different franchises are coming back, like uh, Killer Instinct, Killer Instinct, for one. Um, what game franchises do you think need to be brought back? I know what Riz is going to say. Riz? What am I going to say? Yes, let's say it. Conquer's, say it. Conquer's, Bad, Conquer, Conquer. Conquer's Back Fair Day? Conquer's Bad Fair Day. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Conquer's uh, Bad Fair Day. That's Anything also a rare game, rare too. In the past few years... Conker's Bad Fur Day, Banjo Kazooie. I am not counting Banjo Three or Banjo Kazooie Nuts and Bolts as a legitimate trilogy. Jeez. <laughs> I need. I want Banjo Kazooie back. I want uh, Conker's Bad Fur Day back. Those two games are pinnacle games of the Nintendo 64. Power Stone. Power Stone from the chat. Later. Power Stone from the chat. Power Stone would be good. Yeah. Hey, you I know would... what I want back? Hmm. Legend of Zelda. Yeah, that'd be nice. <laughs> that'd be nice. I would love. I would love to have a Legend of Zelda game. <laughs> you know, I, I, I give me Crash Bandicoot. That's a good. You one. know, it's hard. I like, like, one of those in a while. I don't. But you know, problem is, I think what made Crash Bandicoot awesome was the time and that it was like a railed, uh, straight up, uh, uh, you know, path. You know, they made them open world later and it didn't really work, you know. Uh, but still, I think they could do something fun with them, you know. Or maybe it'll just be another song to have talking and it'll suck. Bubsy, bring Bubsy back. Bubsy. Really? We want to do that? Bubsy back. Oh, no. Bubsy was terrible. No, I think yeah, my, my think choice is Capcom's Saturday Night Slam Masters. Nice! If, if you remember, nice. it was a wrestling fighting game. Um, it actually had Hagar in it from Final Fight, too. Yes! So, um,. Yeah, I think that that would be my choice. Oh, or or Eternal Champions from Sega. I think Sega can do something with that game. Oh, wow. I do like Eternal Champions. Yeah, but yeah, uh, we were we were talking about the other day, uh, Sunday, Sorg and I, um, mm -hmm. Gauntlet. Yeah, yeah, Gauntlet can come back. Yeah, I had that. Another idea. game. Good. Another game that's under the radar that I want to see come back. Toe Jam and Earl. Toe Jam and yeah. Earl. They like. It's weird. Comeback game a few years ago, I thought. Uh, Altered Beast from the chat from my yeah, bike. I was gonna say Battletoads. Uh, Battletoads from Tony Garza. Garza. Echo the effing dolphin. <laughs> yes. Uh, Who said that? says the original Quake. Yeah. I would j j just do a Quake. You know. Mm. I mean, well, I mean, you know, we still have Quake Arena. I guess, but uh, yeah, you're right. There's nothing yeah. new. Uh, Atari Warriors from Shireman. Okay. <laughs> That's nice. That's nice. Uh, uh, Astronax. How about, how about Kabuki, Astronax. Kabuki Quantum Fighter? I still have that game in the box. Oh, uh, How about uh, Project Viper? Project Runway. Rolling Thunder. <laughs> Crazy Taxi. Now Road, we're just like in um, Road Blasters. They did bring back Crazy Taxi, but Ro for arcade. They did? I did on yeah, the iPhone Xbox recently. Was the same Sunset game. Riders, Lost Vikings. Oh, man. <laughs> uh, uh, hey, hey, hey breaking news. Breaking news. Right assert now. this rumor now. Uh, what is that? Product tri tri Titan that uh, Blizzard just, keep, just delayed is actually a Lost Vikings MMO. <laughs> Let's do, make it happen. RC Pro-Am, like an MF -er right there. Yes. <laughs> yes. All right. I think that was going to do it for us this week. Um, you can f follow us on Twitter on at InsertCoinTB. Um, you can uh, find newly new newly written stories up on Insert Coin to begin at times, um, and oh, our challenge this week is actually tag Tecmo Tag Team Wrestling. Oh wow! <laughs> so prepare yourselves. Um, this is actually the game that the Cha brothers Chap um, got Strong Bad from. So if you if you're familiar with Homestar Runner and Strong Bad, nice, you will see a familiar face. So, all right, with that, it's game over. Then come at me, bro.
Greetings, everyone, and welcome to another exciting edition of Let's Play. We start to show off every week by saying what we played this week, so what have you guys played this week? I, for, I thought we started to show off by introducing people. Oh, that's right. We yes. do. Alright, <laughs> 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 restart, 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 restart.